Welcome back, everybody. We're here with Skip McDonald, who's been a nurse for almost 40 years, and what a great lady you are. We've enjoyed you being with us, and it reminds us all, I think even our audience at home, you're thinking of nurses maybe who have been a blessing to you or to your family. I'm thinking of one. I had an opportunity. I, was, I grew up in a doctor's home, so I was around nurses all the time, worked in hospitals as a marketing PR director for several years, so I was with nurses, loved nurses, but it wasn't until I was a patient for an entire month uh, wow. with our first baby that I just really understood the value of nurses. And there was one by the name of Fumi Laya Naya John. I even made up a song to her could, name. Just so you could remember it, right? <laughs> Fumi Laya Naya John. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But she would come in and she would, she would pray over me. She oh, would lay wow. her hands on me. And, and when I was having a really bad day, she, she got me through. Mm -hmm. So it's nurses like, like that that make a difference. Talk a little bit about the ministry of nurses. Yeah, well, it, it, it took me a minute um, to realize that nursing really was a calling it is. Um, for me. You know, I worked in it. It wasn't always easy. And so I was just caught up in trying to get done what I needed to. And then one day it just really clicked, you know, that this is a ministry that uh, can be used by God, mm -hmm. that, um, you time. know, the touch of Jesus to this person. You might not even be able to say the name of Jesus, but your care and mm -hmm. um, your approach um, um, speaks volumes um, there are, you know and, and even as I work with students because they often ask me how can you know when you can pray with a patient or when you can say something yeah. you know and so oftentimes what I say is you listen well yes. because they oh, will give you good. the cue yes. mm -hmm. if yeah. they're interested in spiritual things if they want to talk about spiritual things so and good. all they got to do is crack the window yeah. and then I just raise it on up and we talk about my sister my sister's been a nurse but over 30 years. Yeah. But I remember when my uncle was dying of leukemia in the hospital, in an Atlanta hospital, and I don't, I wasn't sure if he was saved. I didn't, none of us knew. Mm -hmm. But the nurse, the nurse got down with him mm -hmm. and started telling him all about Jesus mm -hmm. and meeting the Lord. Mm -hmm. I mean, Powerful. this nurse, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, she took him right, she, she you know, mm -hmm. he got saved right there with this nurse. Wow. It was awesome. Yeah, my God. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Our church, and I know a lot of churches have a sign when you're leaving the parking lot, says you are now entering the mission field. Mm -hmm. oh, good. And I think, you know, there are some careers that lend more to that, but don't you specifically think that that being a nurse, because like we said, it, it, it may, you may be the last person they speak That's to right. before they, you know, they yeah. die. Mm -hmm. And so do you really look at, I, I, you're a missionary. You are a missionary when you walk in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. You know, I'm, I'm not in the, at the hospital bed anymore, so I'm doing outpatient nursing. And um, so in my role, I really get to sit and talk with the patients now. And I love it. And to hear them, mm -hmm. to just, you know, because sometimes, what a person needs the most in the moment is somebody to listen to right. them. So I try to listen well, even as I'm doing my nursing assessment and that kind of thing. And um, like I said, if they if they show interest in spiritual things, then we will talk about it. I'll never forget uh, one of my patients. I had assessed him, and he was getting ready to be discharged. He says to me, I remember you told me that you're a strong woman of faith. Mm -hmm. And so we got to talk mm -hmm. about that more. And I got to exhort him and who he was in Christ. Mm -hmm. And just, I mean, I, I just had a good time. And, yeah. and, uh, yes. and before he got ready to leave, he said, can I give you a hug? Oh, oh that's awesome. Good. And of course. Yeah. And yeah. still yeah. a paycheck. Yeah. 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 It's I was going to ask you that in dealing with now, you're working more with the mental side and mm -hmm. psychiatric side. Mm -hmm. um, just can you tell us a little bit how your spirituality helps you to, de to discern mm -hmm. whether um, some Something the person is dealing with is related more to their mental illness versus maybe a spiritual attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I um, I pray a lot, yes. and um, so as I'm interacting with my patients, um, I, I try to listen well um, to what they're saying and and discern what's going on. And and oftentimes, what I hear, like one of the therapists will say to me, "You get more out of the patients than we do," you know, and it's just mm -hmm. because of well, I have to ask a lot of questions, but I think also just praying and trying to discern yes. what what are they saying? What is it that I need to report, yes. you know, to the therapist or the doctor, that kind of thing. So I would say yeah. the biggest thing is prayer. Yes. Yes. Also, 
You've got to have that foundation first, though. Mm -hmm. And you had said at one time, I heard you say, that your relationship with God at one point consisted of arrow, what you called arrow prayers. Mm -hmm. In other words, when you needed something, you know, you prayed. Mm -hmm. You shot that arrow and that prayer up to God. But your foundation in Christ has strengthened. Speak to the, how important it is to all of us, but in, as a nurse, to strengthen your own faith and the walk and how that's helped you in what you do. Yeah, well, my, um, you know, I've been walking with Jesus for a long time since I was seven, this All little right. girl. And of course, you know, we do this and up and down or whatever. But us. now <laughs> I realize the importance of intimacy with him mm -hmm. yes. in my own life. Because yes. like I said earlier, you know, based on how I'm doing and I'm coming to give care to you, if I'm all jacked up, what am I gonna do for you? <laughs> you know, so I know the importance. Yes. I I got it. Yeah. The importance of self care yes. and and the importance of that relationship with Jesus. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. If you're having a bad day, mm -hmm. if your nurse having a bad day, mm -hmm. and then then what are those buttons? The North patient, the, no, the, the, the buttons oh, in the, the room where they call calls. the nurse call mm -hmm. when they keep going off ten times in one room. Mm -hmm. That's not enough to drive you into the psychiatric ward. <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't have to deal with the buttons anymore at the bedside, oh. but I will tell you, sometimes when I'm doing, I, you know, one situation comes to mind, I was doing a, a nursing assessment, and one of my hardest parts is when someone is hyperverbal. Oh. oh yeah. They mm -hmm. won't stop talking, yes. and I've got to get my questions in there, and so I'm trying to be real patient and, yeah. and listen. And, <laughs> and, uh, and then and sometimes I have to say, um, can you wait just a moment and let me, you know, ask you what I, and, and one day it was just really hard. Yeah. And when I finished with the young lady, I went to one of my coworkers, I said, she drove me to drink. I had to go get me a Mountain Dew. <laughs> 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 That's a serious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't, you think, don't you think the controversy with the nurses, though? All this, show me your stethoscope on Facebook, all the nurses showing their pictures. Mm -hmm. Don't you think nice. it's really brought a focus to yeah. the nursing industry? Mm -hmm. yeah. And people can really see the nurses for what they really do? Yeah, you know, right. sometimes well, it's good to shed strike, light on it. The doctors would be in a oh, lot yeah. of yeah. hot water. Yes. And the mm -hmm. hospitals yeah. would be in a lot of hot water yeah. if there was a nurse. Trust you know? me, right yeah. now in our agency, that is like one of the highest demands is nursing and really? keeping nursing nurses right. on board because of the high demand. Yeah. There yes. actually is a, um, a National Nurses Day, isn't there? I know when I was a PR yes, director for yes. hospitals, yes. we would, we would yes. celebrate yeah. our nurses. Yeah, we have to have right. a nurses week. Usually. Nurses, yeah. week. Yes. Nurses, week. nurses week. Nurses mm. week. Nurses yeah. week. Yeah. Do things like that help the profession, do you think? Yeah, and yeah I think so. You know, who, who doesn't like a thank you and a pat on That's the back? Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And especially when I'm dealing with your blood and your fluid <laughs> and your, <laughs> you, know, you know, I thank you every now and then. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>